doing such a good job with everything. It was fun today. I think you saw dirt on your face. I do. <laughs> I have not showered yet. But the good news is my day started with a beverage and is ending with a beverage. Welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are busily, very busily working on a little spring update for our porch. My husband actually went and surprised me by going to get a pressure washer that he rented from Home Depot, which was awesome. So we're actually going to break up the videos. There's gonna be one of the front and then there'll be one of the back because we wanna be able to share everything with you. But I thought it'd be really fun to show you how we're just sprucing up the front porch, giving it a nice little spring update. And then I'll share some of my favorites for different styles, but all of these will be budget friendly ideas. If you're trying to just give your porch or if you have a small deck or a little outdoor space, just a little spring update. So if that sounds like something that you're excited about, make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section what you are updating in your home. We wanna make sure we're giving you guys all the spring content that you're really interested in and what is really interesting to you. So make sure to let us know down in the comment section and. Let's go uh, put this porch together because I think that he is just about done with the pressure washing and it's about dry. As you can tell, our porch was pretty much trashed. I had actually switched out the wreath because I was afraid I'd actually get flagged by the HOA for having something that was too wintry on the front. But other than that, I hadn't updated the porch basically since Christmas and it was looking really bad. Not only that, but the, everything is covered in pollen. And I, you can let me know down in the comments if this is something that you guys deal with in your area, but it is so thick on everything. And we really have to wipe down and clean and scrub every surface. So this is the least fun part of any makeover for the both of us. And my husband is such a good sport because I know that he hates getting dirty and quite frankly, so do I. I mean, who really likes cleaning <laughs> but he was so great he really helped me take everything off um, really helped just made it easy so that he could really spray everything down using the pressure washer was gonna be key for us because again we need to get all the pollen off of the, every surface and just really wipe down the porch the columns basically everything it the whole thing just needed to be cleaned once we had everything cleaned up it was time to start putting everything back we had the planters that we had from before. I'll leave links for everything that we've used on the porch down in the description box, including this wreath, which I actually mentioned in one of my previous videos, and I love it. I ordered it from Amazon and a little bit of fluffing, and it looks fantastic. You can see here where I've added in some new plants, and we're just giving the whole area a nice, good spruce. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying today's video. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Skillshare. Now, I have to tell you, I am having the most wonderful Sunday. I'm actually editing today's video. I've got my cup of coffee and I've been sitting at my computer. And while I edit the video and all the photography that's going along with it, I have been enjoying my Skillshare membership. Skillshare is so cool because it really gives you so many different classes and skills and things that you can learn and I love it because I maybe you're like me too I'm a very creative and curious person I would consider myself a lifelong learner and I just love to learn I, I will be learning until the day I die because I just I love to wake up every day and learn something new and as we've been gardening and trying to make our outdoor spaces more beautiful I am constantly trying to find tips and tricks I'm trying to learn how to fertilize the plants and how do I create a garden how do I create an outdoor space that mimics my indoor spaces and and I'm always on the hunt for classes and those who can lead the way. And that's what I love about Skillshare. I looked it up and they have 121 different classes that are focused on gardening. And that's just one thing. You could learn about graphic design. If you wanna learn how to edit video or edit photos, They there's just there's so many different things that you can learn, so many different classes and skills that you can learn at Skillshare. Today, I was watching Landscape Design Ideas, Create a Better Looking Garden by Robert Pavlis. He's an instructor of all things gardening. 
I was really enjoying his class because he's teaching you all the basics that you need to know. And it's the same kind of building blocks that we talk about on this channel about how to build a room and how to understand scale. He was saying that it's actually possible to take that grassy backyard and turn it into the dream garden. And I'm like, my mind is just working. I'm like, oh, this is what I needed to hear. Skillshare wants to make it possible for you guys to be able to join as well. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership so you can explore your creativity. I really hope that you guys will take advantage. It really is amazing and it's something that I really enjoy and it just adds so much to my life and I know that it will do the same for you. So make sure you check so make sure you check out Skillshare and now back to our porch makeover. My husband has been working so hard and the hot water is boiling behind the camera so you can probably hear the sound. It sounds like a rocket ship's about to take off. But I thought it'd be really fun to make us some iced tea. Um, we don't usually put sugar in our tea, but you could actually do um, maybe a little simple syrup or, ooh, you could add some lavender to this. I was gonna use one of the Jardin little teas that we bought that you guys know. We really love these. And I thought it'd be really fun to see. Maybe we will make the vanilla pear, ooh, or the green mango peach. Mmm. Maybe I'll make one of each and we can test each other's out. You can actually make these in the little cups like this. And then you just don't want to overfill them past the little stem. And then we'll add ice and it will be amazing and a fun little treat so that we can celebrate our little, our little porch makeover. So aren't these just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I just love these. So yeah. I'm gonna brew this tea up and uh, make us some iced tea and get back to that porch. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot water over these. You do wanna make sure that your glass is, um, it's heat proof to be able to make tea in like this, but you just add some water in there and we're gonna just let it brew for, a, I like to let mine brew a little bit longer, maybe about five minutes. And then if you wanted to sweeten it, you could add some little vanilla flavoring to it. I have a collection of these that I just love, but maybe a little vanilla in each of these would be really nice rather than something that would be a little bit louder like the lavender or something like that. Just a little vanilla if you feel the need to sweeten it. But otherwise, some ice on this and it's going to be amazing. You can see we've really mixed a lot of things in. We brought back the chairs that we had bought in the winter. And if you remember, we redid the door and painted it out black and we kept a lot of the things that we already had. But quick and easy changes are so simple when you have really great planters. You might leave some of the things like our trees, but then we can mix up some of the things like the orange and the geraniums, adding a new wreath. These are all really quick and easy ways to take what you already have and just make it even better. And I think adding some new cushions and candles to your little area. All these little details can make a very big impact and even in a small space. So I think that this classic modern vibe just, it just makes me feel happy and it's something that makes me feel excited about coming home to. Well, thank you so much for doing such a good job with everything. It was fun today. I think you saw dirt on your face. I do. <laughs> I have not showered yet. But the good news is my day started with a beverage and is ending with a beverage. Yes, it is. Well, cheers. So, cheers. Hope you'll enjoy some sweet tea and then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, take the equipment back. <laughs> I know, and shower off at some point. No, this is great. I love this. I know. This is so nice. We, I feel like when we started this, didn't we have coffees, I think, and now we have something cold. Yes. So it just shows that you don't necessarily need a ton of money or anything, just cleaning things up, refreshing the plants, and... You know, just little cushions and a little doormat and I know, I love it. like it's just little things. I love the orange tree. I know. I'm excited to see this really grow. Yeah. And really kind of fill the space and we can keep an eye on it and see how well it does here. We don't have to move it if it's not yeah. happy, but And now that pollen season's over, we can actually sit out here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not quite over, but it's, it's not close. quite over. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this. I feel yeah. like every time we clean something, it's dirty again. I know. But when the mosquitoes come out, we've got our little citronella candle. And... But it would be nice to sit out here and we can, when the kids walk back, and just talk to them. Get off my grass! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that what old men do? I I've been practicing. I, I, I don't know. I haven't practiced that one. Hey, kid, get off my grass! <laughs> 
I think you need to say it in multiple languages. From Isn't that from Princess Diaries? <laughs> oh gosh, yes, it is in multiple languages. But I can't say that in multiple languages. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and um, just having a little bit of fun doing a little spring juge on the front porch and just a little spiff up. Just get it to feel like it's ready for the season. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget, we have a garden playlist which you can binge watch. And uh, we also are always updating on Instagram. So in the moment updates if you'd like to check us out there as well. And don't forget, hit subscribe, like, hit the bell. You know the drill. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so I have the two important ingredients for getting this deck ready for spring, and that is I have the pressure washer in the back, and I have a nice iced espresso to go. So let's go home and get this porch ready.